All right, we're gonna take a look at this movement. It is a shin box get up or get down. <laughs> Either way, because we're working both, all right? So for this one, you're gonna want um, a light to moderate kettlebell, right? We're not going super heavy because this is a mobility movement. So it's about range of motion, control, and just warming up the body. Once you have your kettlebell, you're gonna hold it in the racked position. All right, so we're holding the handles. Elbows are down and our arms, forearms are forming that 11. We're gonna keep it out in front of us. And from there, we're gonna take a step back, coming into a lunge position. All right, so I stepped my right leg back. My left leg is gonna swim back behind me. I'm in a shin box extension here. Slow and controlled, I'm gonna lower into a shin box seated. And then again, coming all the way up, shin box extension. Bring that first leg out and then step all the way back up. And then we're gonna repeat on the other side. So step back with the other leg, come back into that shin box extension, lower those hips slow and controlled. And with that same control lift, step back forward and push back up into your standing position. All right, so a couple of the things you wanna think about for this movement. Again, we're picking a kettlebell that is light, that is light enough for us to move in this, um, this kind of flow, I guess, if you wanna call it. You can lose the kettlebell altogether if balance is an issue for you right now, but just remember we are trying to work our way up into loading this movement so that we can get the biggest bang for our buck here. All right, we're holding that kettlebell, keeping those elbows tucked under. When you come into that lunged position, all right, make sure we are at a 90. My knee is under my hip, that forward leg, my knee is over my ankle. And then again, with as much control as you can, you're coming back to a shin box extension. So hips stay high first, and then slow and controlled, we're lowering all the way down. We're gonna come all the way back up, step forward again, and then you can tuck your toe under to push off because sometimes this ankle, um, the ankle mobility might not be there to push directly off the top of the foot. So, and that's fine. It's just an added bonus. Either way, tuck the toe or not and push all the way back up. All right, be sure to breathe through it, have fun with it and enjoy. <laughs> 